a man bought 500 meter of electronic wire at 50 paisa per meter. He sold 50% of it at a profit of 5%. At what person should he sell the remainder so as to gain 10% on the whole transaction? Right, a, a common question type, uh, but, but let me uh, tell you what is the shortcut for this particular one, right? I mean, let's, let's solve it in a conventional way first. So there's this 500 meter of electronic wire which has been bought by a man at 50 paisa per meter. Right, 50 paisa per meter. He sold 50% of it. 50% of what? 50% of this 500 meters. So half of 500 meters, 50% is half, right? Half of 500 meters was sold at a profit of 5%. At what person should he sell the remainder so as to gain 10% on the whole transaction? Right? So at what person profit? At what person profit should he sell the remainder? Remainder is what? The other 50 percentage. So that he can gain 10% on the whole transaction. How do you do this? Very easy. See, try and understand, go by the cost price. He has bought 500 meters. At what price? 50 paisa per meter. 50 paisa per meter. So what's the total amount he has spent? 250 rupees. His total cost price is 250 rupees. 500 meters at 50 paisa, half rupee per meter. So for 500 meters, he'll be spending 250 rupees. Now, this is the total cost, 250 rupees. How much, uh, how much is the profit that you're expecting? You, you want a 10 percentage profit on the whole transaction. At what percent should he sell the remainder so as to gain 10 percentage on the whole transaction? The overall profit required is 10 percentage. 10 percent of what? Profit you know is always on the cost price, right? 10 percent of 250 rupees, which is 25. All these are mental calculations, right? You need not put pen on paper. Which means my total selling price, my total selling price should be how much? 250 plus 25. 250 plus 25, 275. So I have invested 250 rupees. Since I'm expecting a profit of 25, 10 percentage, I should be earning 275 rupees. My income should be 275 rupees by selling this entire uh, length of 500 meters. However, this 500 meters length has been sold in two parts, 50% at profit of 5% and the other 50% at what profit is a question here. Yeah, so try and understand. It, it, it is like this, right? 250 rupees has to be split into two parts. 50% of it, 50% of it is 125, other 50% is also 125. And I'm breaking up the cost price basically into two parts, 50% here and 50% here. Yeah, this was sold at what profit? 5% profit. This should be sold at what profit is the question here. What percentage profit? See, this is the total cost price. This is individual cost prices. These are cost prices. These are profits. What you get here is selling prices. I mean, you have to do that calculation. So 5% of 125 is 6.25, right? So I think this will be 131.25. What should be the selling price here? See, selling price here should be 275 minus 131.25. The selling price here should be total selling price I want is 275 of which I've already got 131.5 in the first half of the transaction. In the other half, I should get 275 minus 131.25. So I now know the cost price of the second half. I know the selling price of the second half. I can find out the profit percentage. That's what is required. So this is the regular process, conventional process. But do we really need to do this? No. Waste of time. Absolute waste of time. Please do not do this in the exam. This is probably required when the profit percentages are different. Let's say 42% here, 58% here, 10% here, 90% here. In that case, maybe you use this process. Even in that case, you can avoid it. But I've just explained you the regular conventional method, right? This is the conventional method. Conventional method. You cannot be applying this in your competitive exam. What do you do? Simple. The advantage that we have in this question is the two parts are both equal. He sold 50% at 5% profit. He should sell the remainder at what percent profit is a question. Remember, it, it is like a case where we have got two articles with the same cost price, 125 rupees and 125 rupees. You, you understand? Forget about 500 meters, 50 paisa per meter and all that. Total costing is how much? 250 rupees. This costing of 250 rupees has been divided into two parts, 125 rupees and 125 rupees. Exactly equal. Both the parts are equal. Why? 50% and 50%. Now this becomes like that regular profit and loss question, right? There are two articles. There are two articles of same cost price. There are two articles of same cost price. Whatever profit we get on the first article, the profit we get on the second article, overall profit will be the average of these two. So the overall profit that we want, 10 percentage, is nothing but the average of these two profits. Let's say this is P1 and this is P2. P1 is equal to 5 percent. P2 has to be calculated. The overall 10 percentage profit is the average of these two. So I can say it will be 5 plus P2 by 2. So what is P2? P2 will be 15. And I'm sure you need not put pen on paper for doing this calculation, right? I mean, if one value is 5, what should be the other value so that the average becomes 10? It should be 15. 5 plus 15 is 20. 20 by 2 is 
5 plus 15 is 20, 20 by 2 is 10. That's what we want, right? So 15 percentage is the answer. No need to do all this drama in the exam. Yeah, there's no need to do all this drama in the exam. Now, you might be, so, so basically the, uh, the simple uh, process here is to apply the average. This is what you need to do. This is what you have to put on paper. Yeah, 10 percentage is the average of 5 percent and what? That what comes out to be 15 percentage. Okay, remember this is possible because both the cost prices are equal. If the cost prices are not equal, then you will have to follow the conventional method. Even the conventional method can be avoided. How can you avoid conventional method? You can use allegations and mixtures. You can use the allegation method. We have discussed this allegation method in our uh, other videos on profit and loss, right? Advanced examples of profit and loss. So I would request you all to refer to that video on allegation to know how to solve these type of questions. But remember when the proportions are equal, right? When the uh, particular quantity is being sold in two parts, two equal parts, then the profit will be the average of the two profits, as simple as that.